He doesn't want to... But I feel like we have to. Adam Deacon, um, what, what is that? Because I feel like... I've heard things from Adam. I've heard things. Um, no one's heard. No one's heard from. No, I've, yeah, I've not heard. But I've heard things. Maybe you know around the thing. You can read articles. You can see that there's been restraining orders and all those type of things. What What is that with Adam Deacon? Because obviously you guys worked together. You were close at one point. Um, what What happened there? And do you feel like? He there's he has a part to maybe play in. Do I feel? Yeah, like do you do you, is there you know? <laughs> I don't feel. Um, let me just say this. This narrative that you've been fed, that everybody's been fed. Just for context, he's basically come out publicly loads of times and said, you know, that you you bullied him. His whole career, you, you stopped his career him. and all yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. This narrative that that people have been fed for the last ten years, and I've never spoken about. Ironically, I spoke about it the other day or something. So, <laughs> sorry, um, I've never spoke about is. Is, is, is bullshit. And the biggest mistake, two mistakes I made, the biggest two mistakes I've made probably in my life was one, not giving all the evidence of the shit he was doing to me at the trial because I didn't want him to get, I didn't want this guy to get in trouble, but he would not leave me alone. I'm going to get to that in a second. Why? He just would not leave me alone, right? So I only gave enough evidence for them to deal with it. If I had given the evidence that he was threatening the lives of my children and that he was telling people to find my address and, and jack me and, and do more. If I'd given that all in, I mean, it's kind of there. People heard, but I didn't give it in, right? It would have been on top. Before that point, from 2003 to, 2000, to 2010, this was my guy, like, this was my guy. I looked after him. I put him in every film. I put him in every film. So where's the bullying? There was no bullying. There was no bullying. In 2010, he decides he's going to make his film. Um, going to make his film. I was helping him with this movie. I was helping the guy with the movie. Mm -hmm. He went and signed a contract with somebody else and cut me up. That's what happened. This is fact. right? At that point, I said to him, we had a conversation. We kind of fell out a bit, but we had a conversation. And he said, bro, i got to eat, man. You were taking too long. I said, fine. But you can't call the movie that name if it's not part of our thing because this this is my brand. Right. Cool, I'm not going to call it that. Then that's what they call it. That's why we fell out. There was no bullying. There's never been no bullying, ever. That's why we fell out. From 2011 to 2014, I didn't speak to the guy. There's no bullying. So that's from 2003 now to 2014. There's no bullying. Then one day in 2014, boom, he comes out. I blocked his career. I'm raising children, I'm running a business, I'm not out there. For sure, I said to people, he ain't working on my shit. That's my prerogative, though. Mm.